Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got another breakdown video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over some past plays uh, that I put out not too long ago. I, I'm going to do an updated version on a play out of the Empty Base Flex. Now, I put this out maybe a little bit over a week ago, uh, and since then, I've found a multitude of ways that this beats even more defenses that I really didn't touch on in that video. So, in that video, I tried to do a gameplay video because I know a lot of people try to say show it in gameplay. So, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see this video, uh, these plays working in gameplay. Uh, but I really, like I said, I didn't really get to break down exactly all the things that it can do because you can't choose the defenses that your opponents run. So, ultimately, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you guys some updated versions of how this is pretty much in my opinion one of the glitchiest plays in the game uh, and that's the middle high low at the bottom there before i get into the video though if you guys could help me out scroll down a little bit hit the like button like shares comments all that stuff really helps me out uh helps out my channel helps out my video uh, so if you could do that i'm trying to hook you up so do me a favor and hook me up back and if you like what you see make sure you hit the subscribe button other than that let's go let's get right into the video so this originated as a tampa two play as, as a cover two play the y route it's a pretty pretty standard cover two variation i mean ultimately as is, it should really get outside uh, the cover too, without any adjustments. That's pretty much the idea. But ultimately, I found that you can really make this more explosive if you motion over one of these receivers and put them on a streak. That this is just a standard way to pull the safety back. Um, you could also uh, put the X route on a flat. I'm sorry, on a on a smoke, uh, just to make that uh, that cornerback stay down. And if you do that, you typically get a bigger play, a bigger catch and run. As I, I ran out of bounds, that should also be. This is something you typically want to run to the far sideline. Pretty much every one of these plays, you're going to want to try to be on the hash mark when you run it. Now you can't obviously choose that in gameplay. You can't like you know force that in gameplay. But there's plenty of different ways that you can make sure that you're to the far boundary before you run this play. Either run a play to the sideline, the play before it, or you know typically you're throwing to the open side of the field. You'll find yourself closer to the hash marks more than more than not. So this is like I said, you don't have to. You can motion over either receiver. It doesn't really matter. I find that putting the B route on a slant or an in. Uh, underneath the RB routes a really good high low check down on the right side but ultimately I rarely have to use it because like I said the side I'm focusing on here is so explosive so here we go we get that you know now that we're at the boundary we have a really easy explosive play against cover two and like I said this is pretty much how this started out but I also found that this is also a really good cover three uh, cover four quarters man beater all that so I'll just run it one more time for uh, before I move on to the next formation just for um, you know to keep a show of consistency here i also find that since you make that motion it typically i mean the hardest part is staying in bounds as you can see if you don't get a good throw you go out of bounds but if you do get a good throw and like i said hopefully i'll, I'll take the time to put some of the highlights at the beginning of this video um so you guys can see um you know obviously i mean like i said look in the description below if you want to see the the the, the the gameplay version but this is a really easy pitch and catch against cover two but it's also really easy against cover three so now i'm working against a cover three and i found that they might they must have done something to try to fix this play they must have tried to patch this because typically all i really did was put the x route here on a smoke and the the way that the curl flat and the outside third corner communicated the, the y route would just run right past it and i feel like they tried to patch that as you can see now he hits like a bump and it just doesn't work the same way as you can see i mean it's it's something that ea definitely added an animation where that cornerback disrupts that route which wasn't there prior to me putting out the original video so that's not that's fine though there's a couple ways you can fix that so i'm going to continue with that smoke i mean even i can put them in a zig too it doesn't really matter but the smoke's going to be like a good check down if things break down the way that this play works best now is motion this guy across and put him on a streak now you can see the cornerbacks have to shift. If I don't want that bump animation, I can basically get, get right back to the way it was by hiking the ball before he gets set and before he gets the ability to put hands on the receiver. And that's pretty much how it looked last time. So I find that's really the easiest way to do it now. You know what I mean? Like I said, you can just make the, uh, just hike the ball before that cornerback gets set. And you can see he's way out of position and now we're just running straight up the, straight up the alley here. But like I said, that's the way it was working before EA did something to try to fix this play. And online, I mean, the, a lot of these these uh, these changes are involuntary. Um, you know, like shifting safeties, the defense shifting. This is not something that uh, your opponent can control. So it's not like they have an option. 
I mean, they can, they, they, maybe they can make some adjustments pre-snap uh, to, I don't know. But I know when I show a lot of these, a lot of these plays, like I, I talk about, you know, motioning a guy to, to move the safety and stuff like that. That's not something that your opponent has control over. This, this shift here, this is involuntary. So there's nothing that uh, your opponent can do to stop this. Um, and like I said, he'll probably try to patch it again. But it's a really, it's a really easy play. Now against cover zero, against cover one, uh, the Y route's pretty successful against that also. Um, as you can see, it just kind of runs around the cornerback. All you really need is a speed advantage of some kind, and you're going to get that pretty much every time. So this is something, like I said, whether it's... Uh, the only thing it wouldn't really... Man coverage-wise, it wouldn't have success against is cover two because there's going to be a safety waiting over the top. But like I said, an all-out man blitz or a cover one, you can see the route's just designed. Like I said, it's really... It's one of the best... It's, to me, it's one of the best routes in the game. It's one of the glitchiest ways to use it. Before I continue, I'm just going to show... Like I said, I, I show this in gameplay for the naysayers. Um, like I said, link in the description below. Uh, but before I continue that, I'm just going to show that I do have this set on all Madden. Uh, and the second you try it, you're going to realize how easy it is, too. This is not something, you know, it's on all Madden competitive. The second you try this, you're going to realize how easy this is. I don't have to, um, you know, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. This is this is just a super easy play um, that everybody should be able to run. It's just pitch and catch. Uh, the really the hard part here is getting a good throw because it's such a it's such a you know you have to get that ball out there but it's insane how easy this is so now i'm in a straight cover four drop which is like uh, it's a non-matching cover four that's like cover four drop show two this is out of the dollar because that's all that the cowboys defense has um this is the only play that i haven't really figured out like a, a an exact one play touchdown out of yet uh, but you can hit a very easy uh you know outside beating route if you just basically motion on the x route put him on streak and then the y route here if you just bullet and pass lead outside you can get a big play and you can see that i probably would be gone if it wasn't for the sideline that's probably like the biggest issue when it comes to this one i'll, I'll, I'll run it a couple times and try It'd be nice to have a home run uh one play touchdown against every single defense which is probably how i'm going to label this uh anyway but you can see i mean he's getting past that cornerback it's just it's really tough to try to house call this so now I'm going to cover four quarters look. Uh, we'll cover four palms, cover four match, essentially. Any cover four match, this will have the effect. I'm going to streak the A route, and then I'm going to put the Y route in the comeback. So now that's pretty much it. We're going to motion snap uh, Jackson because we want as much time uh, as we can get, as we can buy. As you can see, I mean, the RB route here crosses that defense but i mean you're gonna you're gonna get pressure because this this doesn't necessarily have the best blocking so like i said this is probably i don't want to say the least effective i mean most people don't really run cover four quarters anyway but it does have a home run ability against cover four quarters if you can buy time uh you can see rager here is just running wide open um, because this is just, you know, cover four quarters is a pretty pretty glitched out defense as it is. I run sometimes. I mean, it's a decent defense for the throw in, but there's a lot of ways to really glitch it if you know how to. So, like I said, all we're really watching here, when you run cover four quarters and you put if you put comebacks out there, two of the two of the two of the uh, quarters run basically turn into man coverage, which is exactly what happens here, and they just sit on the route. And then, uh, you know, basically this this guy here, he pulls back one of the four quarters. And this would have been a time where this guy would have, should have switched, but they don't really do that very well. And then you can see how he's just taking the two guys deep and he's just running uh, wide open. So if you if you run into that, you can also home run that defense. Now, if you have somebody running like a cover six or a cover nine, uh, essentially half of the field in those defenses is cover two and the other half is cover four match so you just have to identify which side is the cover two side in this scenario it's on the left side so it's a perfect setup anyway so i would just basically treat it like a cover two so we already went over how this beats cover two but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there so if you guys want to see more out of the eagles playbook do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below